Greetings, Divine Radiance. How are you today? Welcome to your Monday Dose of Sunshine with me, Nikhil Asha of Ash Scott Scott Life Sculpting. I'm a divine interpreter, psychic life coach, and mentor, assisting you with activating the divinity and wisdom within your soul so that you are empowered to create and live an abundant life. So listen, I got a lap full of cards because before I got on today, I was asking Spirit, well, what are we talking about today, right? For Monday Dose of Sunshine. Now, I didn't go for my walk today. In fact, I haven't worked out yet yet today at all, but before bed today, I will be doing some floor work with my resistance bands and getting my workout on. And tomorrow I'll resume with my messages that I deliver at the top of the hill on my walk. But I was pulling cards because Spirit said, grab that deck and pull some cards and this is what we're going to talk about. So look at all these cards that we got. And it was just really funny how it happened because I'm shuffling, 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 and then all of a sudden, this self-love card falls right on out. You may decide to look up the number six because there's a message there as well, but that self-love card. And look, my favorite flowers in her hair. I love calla lilies. Oh my gosh, I love them. And then Spirit said, look on the bottom. On the bottom was growth. And then we had will. And I'm hearing where there's a will, there's a way. And if you notice, we have six, we have five, we have three and one, which is four. No coincidences here. And then we have creation. Nine and three is 12, two and one is three. So we have six, five, four, three. Look at this. Can't make it up, y'all. And then we have gratitude and boundaries. Okay. So what I was receiving from spirit when I was grabbing these cards and just seeing how the story was unfolding was in order for us to grow, we must get grounded in our self-love, right? We must get used to nurturing ourselves, right? Our inner child, our inner adolescent, our inner adult, and our current self. We must get used to loving ourselves the way that we would have liked for the world to love us, or we would have liked for parents to love us, or significant others to love us. Also, as we continue to love ourselves and we continue to grow, what will happen is we will be creating a life that is according to our divine will, right? Our divine will. So oftentimes we say, you know, um, if it's God's will or God willing or Ishnala, you know, depending on your, your background. But what spirit is telling us is our will and God or the divine or spirit, Allah, Jehovah, whatever you refer to your high source of power as the universe, the most high, you know, our will is directly aligned, right? With what we perceive to be the will of God when we're acting in our true nature, our true desires, our true choices, right? When we are independently thinking, meaning not dependent on what we've been taught to think or feel or how to behave. And through this transformation, right? When we love ourselves, we do create that space and room to grow. And we begin aligning our will with the will of the divine, our true will. And we're creating a world that is free, right? A world that is filled with freedom, a world that is filled with love and peace and balance. Now, one of the things that we're being called to do is to show gratitude, not only for our experiences, but also for ourselves, right? And uh, Spirit is telling us that part of self-love is creating boundaries. And oftentimes when we think of boundaries, we're thinking of boundaries that we create or we put in place so that others don't overstep their bounds. But what Spirit would like us to focus on right now are those boundaries that we're being guided to create for ourselves, right? Because oftentimes we'll do things like eat things that aren't healthy or be around toxic people or take on on responsibilities that really don't resonate in our soul, right? And we are overstepping our own boundaries, right? Our soul is to be our guide for the types of boundaries we're being called to create. Now, 
you're also being called to be in flow. You're being called to be in flow with not only your love for self, but be in flow with the things that you love, right? Now, where did we get this concept that in order to experience something good and great, we had to work hard for it, right? Where did we get that from? What we're being called to do is to shift our perception of what creates greatness. Hard work and greatness do not go hand in hand. Self-love and greatness go hand in hand, right? Love is the highest vibrational frequency there is. And until we start loving ourselves more, we aren't able to love others more. And we're not able to begin creating a shift in the collective vibrational frequency. Where there is love, there is power. Where there is love, there is peace. Where there is love, there's bliss, there's balance, right? And there's more love, right? So spirit is really pushing us to get in a space of being grateful for ourselves, for all of our experiences, and get in that space where it is okay for us to choose what makes us happy and for us to love ourselves enough to go after that, right? Oftentimes, we're also made to feel guilty or we're shamed, you know, um, how there was the slut shaming, uh, Amber Rose had that movement, right? Um, well, what spirit has been bringing to my attention is that in the spiritual world, there's often a shaming attached to spiritual practitioners that choose to be compensated, right? In a way where they are able to live a life of luxury. And spirit is saying it's time for us to, number one, if we fall under the category of those that are shaming others, to stop it. And number two, if we fall under the category of those that are feeling shame, to stop it. Because here's the thing. You get to decide how you're choosing to spend this life. And spirit could care less if you choose to spend this life as someone who has very little to no financial resources. You could decide to live in a tree or live on a park bench, right? Spirit is concerned with the service. Or you can decide that you choose to live this life, living a lap in the lap of luxury, living in a mansion, going on your personal yacht, having housekeeping and a chef, right? Spirit doesn't care about that. Spirit cares about the service. So you get to decide what you're creating from the service, right? And Spirit is saying, whatever you decide, even somewhere in between, it is okay. It is okay. So love yourself enough to give yourself the permission to align, right, with your will. Thy will be done. Thy will be done, right? Thy will be done. So first decide what that is, right? And then love yourself enough to know that you're deserving, you're worthy. And to know that the opinions of others carry no weight on how you choose to live your life when your heart is aligned with love, right? And the way you align your heart with love is by loving yourself. Because when you love yourself, Jealousy disappears, right? Envy, jealousy, right? Hate disappears, right? Worry disappears. Because when you're loving yourself, you feel worthy within yourself, right? You feel worthy. And when you feel worthy and you love yourself, you're so focused on keeping that flame of self-love ignited that you don't have time to fan those flames of naysayers and their stinking thinking, right? You're too focused on loving yourself and that love is generating within and it's overpouring, it's overflowing, and now others are able to receive and feel that love. So focus on, right? Focus on your love for self. Focus on your gratitude and focus on what it is you're choosing to create. So that's today's message, right? And oh, one more thing, because Spirit just had me look at that boundary card. Set your boundaries for yourself. You cannot expect for anyone else to adhere to your boundaries if you aren't doing it yourself. There was a time where, and I've shared this in some of our Wednesday Live Empower Hours, there was a time where it was like I was on call 24 hours a day, 24 seven. If I was up at 4 a.m. and someone sent me a message, guess what? I was responding at 4 a.m. I had no boundaries in place because I was living in a place of lack. And when spirit checked me and, and 
put it in front of my face to observe what it was I was doing and where it stemmed from, I began setting boundaries within myself. For a while, I disconnected from uh, Messenger. Like I was no longer a part of Messenger because if I wasn't receiving DMs, where it notified me, I wasn't responding to DMs, right? And so anyways, I then got solid in realizing how I was burning myself out. And by doing that, it was minimizing my degree of service to myself and to those I'm called to serve, right? And so I got to a point where those boundaries became very clear. And then I was able to abide by them, which in turn, they're not being overstepped by anyone because someone else can choose to attempt to cross that line. But my boundaries within self are so clear and so I'm hearing firm that it doesn't matter what they're doing. There's like this wall in between them and me, right? And them and you. So the boundaries are something that must be set within, right? They must be set within. And you cannot expect someone else to do for you what you aren't doing for yourself. It's just the law of nature. So if you like for things to be different in your world, right, if you're seeking more love in your personal world, and if you're seeking more love in the collective, start by loving you more. Start by loving you more. And there's so many ways to do that, right? There's meditation. There's mirror work, stating positive affirmations or declaring to yourself in the mirror how amazing you are or whatever it is that you're choosing for yourself, declaring it with, you know, feeling and passion and belief. My, my fur baby Ganesh is right here. You know what I mean? Also, if you're ready to start your healing journey, schedule a consultation. The link's in the description box. Healing definitely helps improve and increase your self-love, okay? I'm, I'm a testament, okay? It really does. But anyways, that's the message that I have for you today. If you are interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting, again, schedule the consultation. The link's in the description box. If you're interested in a personal reading, you can schedule with me, Javi, or Tia Lynn. All the links are in the description box. And if you're interested in energy healing session with Jillian, our team shaman, her links there too. So you got choices, you got choices, but out of all your choices, make sure that you're choosing you. All right. So that is your Monday dose of sunshine. I thank you so much for allowing me to serve you and I leave you with peace, love, bliss, and abundance. I'll talk to you soon.